This episode of Artists I Love features the great Richard Schmid. Born in Chicago at the height of the Great Depression, Schmid's first influence was his maternal grandfather, Julian Oates, an architectural sculptor. Under the tutelage of the classically trained William H. Mosby, Schmid began studying figure drawing and anatomy at the age of 12 at Chicago's American Academy of Art. Mosby was a graduate of the Belgian Royal Academy and a technical expert on European and American realism. He taught exclusively from life, starting with the conceptual and technical methods of the Flemish, Dutch, and Spanish masters, the emphasis in each period always being a la prima. Schmid completed his training as a realist painter at a bad time the mid-1950s, when the style was very much out of vogue. Nonetheless, throughout the second half of the 20th century, Schmid kept alive the knowledge he received from Mosby and from Mosby's friends, including such painting luminaries as John Singer Sargent, Claude Monet, and Edgar Degas. Richard's style and content became his own. A gifted teacher himself, Schmidt has generously shared his knowledge through his books and by mentoring young artists. Richard Schmidt passed away recently, April the 18th, 2021, leaving behind his wife, Nancy Guzik. I've watched a mini video with Richard uh, giving demonstrations and pay close attention to him through the years because I've been a fan of his since finding his art. If there's one thing for clear that comes through clear, it's that he and Nancy were crazy about each other. She comes across as a great person. I've had a few interactions with her on social media. She seems like such a class act. Sorry for her loss. That is for sure. Richard will be greatly missed. He has inspired so many. A lot of the young artists that I consider today to be on the up and coming have been inspired by and taught by, mentored by, uh, Richard Schmid. Just a few is uh, Dan Gerhardt's and Michelle Dunaway, Scott Burdick and his wife um, Sue Lyon. Just to name a few. And his great book has, re has reached all of us, his great art. He will be sadly missed. 